because whenever I think my body thinks that I'm dry, it just shoots oil to my face to try and protect it. So um, kind of counteracts the oiliness. But anyways, um, so that's why I do that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I bought some new CK1. So I'm really excited because um, it's my favorite foundation. So I hope that I'm focused here. Am I focused? Can you see me? Am I focused, guys? Okay, I think I'm more in focus now. I'm gonna be using my Artiste brush. This one is the Oval 8, I think. Yeah, the Oval 8. And yes, these brushes are expensive, but I promise you they are way worth the money. I've never reviewed anything that was sent to me like this that I really, 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 truly 100,000% recommend um, because I would definitely save up my money to buy this brush. Of, of all the brushes that I tried, this is my favorite. Um, just because it helps my foundation to go on so smoothly and quickly with ease. It doesn't even take like a lot of work, you know? Like I just pump it and press it and smooth it out, guys. It takes like no effort at all and I love that. So, and the key to having a full coverage, long lasting, foundation-y face, foundation-y, is that a word, um, is to build. So I'm starting off with one layer of foundation and it's really easy to cake your face on if you feel like you need a lot of coverage, but sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes the best way to do it is to apply a foundation that isn't 100% um, full coverage and then use a really full coverage foundation to spot conceal your face or use concealer. People are always like, how do you apply your foundation? Why do, how do you get your face to look so flawless? Well, I don't use one product and that's the key. I layer products, but I don't wear a lot all over, if that makes sense. And as you can see, you can still see dark spots and things like that, um, blemishes and stuff. They're not covered um, completely by the foundation. So what I'm gonna do is I have a sample of the Kat Von D foundation and I know that this foundation is expensive so I don't buy it like I, I, don't, I don't I don't buy it and the reason I get a sample is because you really don't need a lot it goes a little goes a long way um, I just went to Sephora and asked for a sample in my in my um, my size <laughs> in my color and yeah I'm just going to spot conceal with that foundation and because this is a heavy full coverage full duty foundation it covers everything so where you don't even have to like put any concealer on top but I don't like to put it all over my face because for a normal day I don't want to be cake face and it's not my exact color to be putting it all over my face so that's why I use it sparingly so I'm just putting it all over my forehead because my forehead has been breaking out crazily past few weeks and I need to cover a lot and I'm wearing a middle part so my forehead is all out so <laughs> gotta make sure that's covered and I'm only applying like a tiny bit like just a tiny bit to the spots that I want to cover my face is getting better though um it had been breaking out pretty bad but I think that it's getting a lot better um I've been drinking a lot of water I try to drink two cups of green tea a day eat at least one green vegetable a day. I, I bought these little juices that contain green vegetables, a serving of green vegetables. So just in case I don't eat green vegetables, I'll have something to back me up. I mean, your skin is only going to be as good as what you eat. So I'm just going to let that sit and I'm going to go back because I didn't do my eyebrows. What is wrong with me? I like to use waterproof brow gel. This is by Makeup Forever. I've had this same one since like, 2012 I'm not even kidding I've had this for like two years and I haven't I still haven't ran out and I use it every day I don't know this thing is like jam-packed with product but you really don't need a lot so maybe that's why it's by far my favorite brow product that I use of course you can use whatever you please I have a brow tutorial if you want to check it out I'll probably make another one because that one was for my black hair and I don't use any of the products that I use in that tutorial anymore I just apply my that look how far back I did that we'll fix it in a second I'm using my Graftopian concealer palette to conceal my brows as usual and I've had
had the same palette for like a year and a half. And like I said, it never fails me. So sorry if you can see my mirror all up in the screen, but I need to get a vanity mirror. But until then, my ghetto Walmart mirror will just have to do. I think we got the eyebrows on fleek. I'm gonna shorten them though because they're too long on this side. There we go. Okay, moving along. So, you guys know my favorite all time concealer is the LA Girl Pro Concealer, but I'm running out of my color. So, I've been using my other favorite concealer, which is my Select Cover Up Concealer. And this is literally my, this was the first concealer that I ever used, and I love it. It just covers so well. And I found the best way to apply it is with your fingers. Los dedos. I should be like a Dora the Explorer YouTuber and like say things in Spanish and then have you guys repeat it. Los dedos. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm actually really not that good at Spanish anymore. I can read it fluently. I can write it fluently, but I can't speak it fluently. So, doesn't really help me in real life, unless you need me to write down something, but ain't that many Mexicans up here anyway where I live now, so. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it out a little with my handy dandy brush. Well, I'm gonna set my under eyes with banana powder, cause I wanna Full. Actually, I'm going to use this Halo Perfecting Powder from Smashbox and my twin wife, Taylor. We're like besties now. She gave me this powder and when I went to visit her in Tampa. So we'll see how it works. It's actually too dark for me. So that is going to be my contour. <laughs> Alright. So this is now my contour color. Thanks, Tay. Yeah, it's way too dark to put all over my face. So. Ooh. Banana, well, I'm gonna set my under eyes with banana powder and then I'm going to set my foundation. with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. Sorry if I'm not as energetic as I normally am. I don't know why I'm not energetic today, I'm just not. Going in with my Little Rock Pro Palette. And I'm going to take Taupe and run that in my crease. I'm also going to take taupe and run it down my nose bridge here. And it's not really dark, so it's not like super contouring my nose, but it's just giving it enough depth to make it look a bit slimmer. I'm gonna take a pencil brush, like this one, and use that on my inner corner with the color Nude. A little bit of champagne. And I'm gonna take that on the inner corner here. And then blend that out on my finger. I don't want to do eyeshadow. I just decided I don't want to do eyeshadow. I feel like I should put some eyelashes on, even though I kind of don't want to wear eyelashes today.
can't be afraid of the lashes. You have to be the lash. Be the lash. It's crazy because I'm doing all this just to film a couple videos and you guys don't really care if I have lashes on or not. Like, what? I might be too long. Cause this one looks, are these the same lashes? And I didn't finish my face, so I'm gonna go back and finish my face. I'm just gonna put some highlighter on my cheekbones. And my nose. And a little on my forehead. And my chin. You gotta be careful with shimmery stuff, because if you have bumps, it does not look cute at all. Last but not least, my lip. I don't know what lip color I'm wearing today. I think I need to film more. Fix this really quick. This is the finished product. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.